Hey everyone, welcome back to Buke Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're driving around in the truck with the dogs. We're looking for some chickens. There we go. Took him out of the tree. That was a hard shot. That was pretty well straight up and down, but I had to wait till his head poked out. The only thing I had to shoot at was his chest right here, and once he put his head out, able to grab him. One more for the pot. Ah. <laughs> there we go. There we go, one more. That messed up loon. <laughs> hey, pal. What the heck you doing on the road? You all buggered up or what? If you let me grab you, I'll help you out. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't you be doing that to me. Man, that beak is intimidating. Hey, friend. Huh? What? You don't gotta do that. Hey. What are you doing that for? Hey, look, I'm trying to help you out, friend. Okay? Well, if you do that, uh, you're not helping yourself. Okay? Don't do that. Like you look perfectly fine. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess he likes my feet. Hey, dude. Relax. If you're friendly to me, I'll be friendly to you. I'll get you some help, buddy. Well, that's not gonna help you. Don't go tumbling down. You dipstick. I'll get in the water then. I guess he can float. <laughs> Maybe you don't need my help then. Hey? Eh? Well, I don't know uh, what's going on with the loon, but uh, he seems to be fine now that he's in the creek. He's pretty mad at me, but he's still diving and he's swimming around. For some reason he can't fly, but I don't know. Maybe in a day or two, it's just like a sore wing and he'll just go on about his day. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave him leave him be he's still diving right over in here he might come back up here somewhere but uh yeah i don't know <laughs> try to help him out but he didn't want help i guess <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i guess we better get back to chicken hunting <laughs> well you guys we made her back to the house uh pretty good afternoon drive we got uh two rough grouse and one spruce so that's not too bad uh the last little bit there i think there was five chickens i shot out the one four times before i finally connected the other ones they flew away but uh ah, it's all part of the fun uh another a good day to be out in the bush anyways with the dogs out they're running around now they're at home chasing each other making a bunch of racket and stuff but another great day in the bush this one here kind of hit him a little a little bit low there we go didn't give me much to to grab a hold of but nice clean bird that one's ready then of course we got uh, chicken hearts and all that stuff. Uh, I don't give them to Daisy anymore. She just kind of gets sick when she eats them now. I think she, uh, a couple years ago, she ate a little too many chicken guts. She got into a pile of them and ever since then, if you give her a heart, she just kind of rejects it. So now Rocky gets them, cats get them. More than enough to go around. <laughs> Anyways, we got uh, our two rough grouse done. Now it's time to do our spruce hen. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be making with these here yet. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next time, uh, just leave it. Uh, leave me a comment down below, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe you'll see your recipe up on this channel. Anyways, there we go. There's three chickens, nice and clean. Pull off these little straggler feathers. There, time to uh, grab our chicken hearts, head inside, get these into a bowl of water, chilling in the fridge. Next time you see us, we'll be in the kitchen, we'll be cooking. Hey there guys, so we uh, had our chicken chilled in the fridge here for a couple of days 
I just pulled it out of the bowl, gave it a little pat down to dry it off. And as much as I love to cook the chicken within a day or two of harvesting them, uh, I also like to vacuum wrap them. And then that way in the middle of the winter, when it's nice and cold outside, you can stay inside, cook up some chicken, and it tastes just as good as the day that you shot them. Uh, and in order to do that, basically we just need our vacuum wrapper, one of our vacuum bags, and basically we're just gonna take these chickens, we'll debreast them, put them into our vet bag, vacuum wrap them, and then basically freeze them and they'll be good to go uh, for a couple of years to be honest with you. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna get to work here, I'm gonna get these uh, chicken breasts off, then we'll get to vacuum wrapping them. All right, so to take your uh, breast meat off, I like to use a fillet knife. Uh, any any long bladed knife works. And right here, you have your Y bone, and that runs down the middle. So I take my knife, one nice long cut, turn your knife, all that Y bone down. You're able to open her up. And then inside, you have this uh, this little bone here that you just kind of follow that down. And there you have one chicken breast off. And then also on the inside right here, that's your chicken tender. But for this, we're gonna leave that on. And then pretty well let's do the same thing on this side. And there we go. Then that's all that you're left with. And then again with this one here, we'll do the same thing. Once you've done a handful of these birds, you can get pretty quick at it. And then what we've been doing here this year too, is we've been keeping our carcasses and eventually we're going to make some uh, some soup stock with them so now we have all of our chicken breasts off we already made our bag so we're going to take these lay them in here kind of single file more there we go they're all in there nice and flat open this sucker up put in there Oop. the vacuum button get all that air out And there you have it. We have chicken breast ready for the freezer. And come probably January or February when we have a big blizzard outside and minus 30. I'm gonna stay inside, unthaw one of them up, cook something up. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button down in the corner there. Uh, leave us a comment or two, and then uh, subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. What is it, turtle? You know what I got for you? I got your heart. Oh. Wild Rocky, she got two. There you go. You can have that one, bud. <laughs>